right, fans of music, music fans, this is your pal DJ Buddy speaking to you, you, from the Rock Garden here. What that means is my small home office where I run my DJ business and our wedding-related business and sit with the Beatles behind me and do this while the wife and kid are out of the house. I'm an old guy with a small kid that makes a lot of noise, okay? But talking to you right now about the current state of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the voting going on. Got an article here from uh, Ultimate Classic Rock, all right? If you can believe this, it says the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame fan vote has a new leader, and that is the Dave Matthews Band. Dave Matthews is beating out Ozzy Osbourne, okay, as well as Peter Frampton and Foreigner. I mean, can you imagine this? Look, I like Dave Matthews Band, nice jam band, Let's do a little thinking here. Every song sounds the same. And if you're not drinking or playing in the mud, it's kind of dull, all right? I defy you as a casual listener of rock music to like listen to Dave Matthews without it just being background music or if you're drinking. Now, you put on Ozzy, Farner, Peter Frampton, there is a wide variety of sounds there. Even for Ozzy, who is something of a one-trick pony, has more variety than the Dave Matthews Band. Uh, in fact, I would argue Dave Matthews Band will put you to sleep. Now, I've seen uh, Dave Matthews tribute bands. Enjoyed them tremendously. What was I doing while I was out there listening to these bands? I was sipping beer. I admit it, it's true. I was sipping beer, and the music sounded effing great. Went home, bought a bunch of Dave Matthews CDs. Yes, I still support music sometime. What happened? Didn't sound as good. But back to the Hall of Fame here. It says here that Dave Matthews Band has been in this position before, 2020, but they did not earn enough votes. Um, Dave himself admits that he was voting furiously. And he was on speed dial. Speed dial to get himself in there. That's what he told Howard Stern last year. You know Howard Stern, guy that never leaves his house, doesn't leave the basement, uh, the guy that people <laughs> say is keeping serious afloat. I guess it's gotta be true um, because there's no other reason to listen to Sirius XM. You can use Spotify, there's tons of great music on YouTube. Um, I really think satellite radio was... I'm going off on a tangent here, folks, so bear with me because I'm one of these people. I think satellite radio is a product that is mostly used by older people, not unlike old-fashioned FM radio, AM radio, which was great in its day. But satellite radio is really for people that don't have a lot of tech savvy, don't know how to open an app, uh, this kind of thing. So anyway, back to Dave, and uh, I guess Howard Stern as well. Let's see here. Dave says, if there's any outcome that could arguably be better than actually getting into the hall, not to say there's anything better than getting into the Rocket Hall, hall of Fame, but if there was anything better it would be if the fans overwhelmingly voted for you to get in and you still weren't in. I can live with that. What? What? Uh, do you understand that? I don't. It might be my reading comprehension skills. Anyway, fan voting continues through April 26th with the announcement of inductees to follow. Now, of that crew, as much as I like Foreigner, I you got to give it to Frampton, folks. If you haven't seen Frampton, go see him. The guy gets out there and plays because he loves to play. Saw him last year, again, from the front row, like we saw Daltrey, as I mentioned in a, another video. Um plays his heart out. Uh, his fans love him, and the music is great. There's a wide variety of music.
plays well over two hours. Keep in mind, this is a guy that came back from a sickness, an illness that he did not think he would recover from. And I just think based on that alone, now this is me. It was me. You do what you want. I'm not going to judge you. But for me, I think Frampton deserves that. Sorry to look away. Kind of new with this screen thing. I may change it up. But I want to tell you, I appreciate each and every one of you who even took a second to listen to my garble. And uh, vote for Peter Frampton for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.